Uh, good morning. So, uh, in the last session, I discussed about uh, Reese indices and Miller indices. And we learned that uh, Miller indices is used to designate uh, a very plain linear string. Okay. So, in the last class, I also shown how to designate all the six faces uh, of a cubic crystal which are identical to one another in all aspects. But still, Apart from their identical nature, it is possible to distinguish each phase of the cubic crystal with the help of Bravo, uh, with the help of Miller indices. Right. With this background today, we shall move on to uh, the definitions of a space lattice, unicell and crystal lattice. So what is a, a space lattice? We know that uh, crystals are three-dimensional systems and the arrangement of particles in three-dimensional system gives rise to crystal lattice. So, crystal lattice is nothing but three dimensional arrangement of what particles in space leading to a Rolf crystal, that is crystal lattice. But when we want to represent the arrangement of particles in a two dimensional system like a paper or a green board, it is possible to represent the arrangement, three dimensional arrangement of particles on a two dimensional board. So, that two dimensional arrangement of particles. Uh, represented on the board is the space lattice. So the particles of the solid the three dimensional element of particles of a solid can be represented on a two dimensional system with the help of points. With the help of points. So space lattice is nothing but the array of points. This lattice is defined as array of points depicting the arrangement of particles in three dimensional space. So, we are representing arrangement of particles in actual crystal with the help of points and the board. So, this array of points depicting the arrangement of particles in a three dimensional cubic crystal is called a space lattice and the position occupied by a particle in a crystal is called as a lattice point. So, this space lattice I can show you in this part of the diagram. So, this is a, the two dimensional depiction or two dimensional representation of a particles in a crystal system. So, this is a two-dimensional paper and the three-dimensional arrangement of particles in the actual crystal are shown with the help of points on the two-dimensional system. So, this array of points explaining or depicting or describing the arrangement of three-dimensional three arrangement of particles in three-dimensional space is called space lattice. And uh, the points are called as lattice points. What are these points? These are the points in the three dimensional system where the particles of the solid are present. So, this is called space lattice. Then, we have a blackened portion which is called as a unit cell. There are different cells, and this, this one part of the space lattice is called as a unit cell. So, what is a unit cell? Unit cell can be compared with the monomer in a polymer. Unit cell is analogous to a monomer in a polymer. So, what is a unit cell? These are all the definitions one should be aware of. So, unit cell is the smallest repeating unit. So, unit cell is the smallest repeating unit which when placed once all over the other and by the side of the other three dimensional space, we get a, a large crystal. So, unit cell is nothing but the smallest repeating unit which when placed in all the three dimensions gives rise to a large crystal. So, this is nothing but it is analogous to a monomer in a polymer. What is a monomer? It is the smallest repeating unit. It is like polythene. Ethene is the uh, repeating unit. If you have polypropene, propene is the repeating unit. So these ethene molecules are added to one another in a three dimensional fashion, which leads to a 
pattern. So also unit cell is also smallest repeating unit which when placed in three dimensions will give rise to a large cluster. So space campus is nothing but that are points which describe the arrangement of particles in a three dimensional system and unit cell is the smallest repeating unit which when placed in three dimensions will give rise to a large cluster. And what is crystal lattice? The three dimensional arrangement of particles having definite geometry, zero is definite geometry, is called a crystal lattice. Crystal lattice. Now we shall consider, <coughs> now what we shall, we shall consider Bravais lattice. So, what is a Bravais lattice? So, we learned that in the other class that. There are only seven types of crystal systems. All the crystalline systems that are known to us possess any one of these seven geometries, which we considered in the last class or in the earlier class: cubic system, tetrahedral system, atomic system, so on and so forth. So, what a French crystallographer by name? French crystallographer. My name is August Harris. So, August Harris, from geometrical considerations, decided that the arrangement of particles in three dimensional space in the star is also to be in Putin place. Means, though there are seven types of crystal systems, Within these seven types of crystal systems, only 14 types of arrangements are possible. So, you could arrive at this decision or conclusion considering geometrical, geometry, considering geometry, based on geometry considerations. What uh, August Braves concluded is that uh, there are only 14 types of uh, arrangements of particles in three dimensional space. Okay. So, you now let us see. So, Bravais, as I said, French crystallographer, August Bravais, from geometric uh, considerations, concluded that within seven types of crystal systems, 14 different types of arrangement of particles are possible. So, what are the different types of arrangement of particles under the each crystal system? So, that is tabulated here and over. So, if you take cubic crystal system, Within the cubic crystal system, there are three types of work, arrangement of particles, namely primary cubic arrangement, uh, simple cubic arrangement, body centered cubic arrangement, and face centered cubic arrangement. Let us visually later what these type of arrangements are. So, uh, under crystal system, three types of particle arrangements are possible, and uh, in a cubic system, minimum number of symmetry elements. Okay, there may be more than this, but any cubic crystal will have a, at least three tetras are fourfold and four triads are threefold and six symmetry. So be careful. I will tell you a minimum number of symmetry elements. Means every crystal will have minimum number of these symmetry elements. There will be more than this also. Right? So then these are the parameters, uniform parameters, which I will show you. In the, uh, in the end of chart, but those parameters mentioned in the chart were not clearly visible, so I have written here. So, in the case of cubic crystal, all the edges are equal to one another in length, and all the interfacial angles are equal, they are equal to 90 degrees. That is universal parameters. So, when it comes to second system, the terminal system, there will be two types of uh, arrangements of particles, namely primary arrangement and body centered arrangement. I'll show you later. Then there will be at least one fourth point axis symmetry. And in tetragonal system, two sides are equal and the third side is not equal, and all the three angles are equal. Similarly, in orthorhombic system, four types of arrangement of particles are possible, namely primary arrangement, body centered, face centered, leg centered arrangement are possible. And uh, minimum number of uh, symmetry elements is 3. Diode, diodes are 2 more exosymmetry. And in orthorhombic system, no side is equal to another. All the three sides have got different lengths, and all the three angles are equal to one another, they are equal to 90 degrees. 
and when it comes to monoclinic system, only two types of arrangements of particles are possible. One is the primary arrangement, the other is the intercepted arrangement. And minimum number of positive elements for the monoclinic system is one to four axis will be present, and the lower side is equal to the one and the other. Okay. Two angles are equal to one another, the 90 degrees, and the third angle is not equal to 90 degrees. When it comes to cyclinging, all the three axes are inclined, so that's why it's not cyclinging. And only one type of arrangement is possible, that's the angle arrangement. And only one, one four axis are symmetry, means there is no symmetry element at all. Only one, one four axis symmetry is possible. And uh, all the three sides have a different lengths, and all the three angles are different, and they are not equal to right degrees. Uh, when it comes to hexagonal system, only one type of arrangement is possible, that is triangle arrangement, and it has got minimum one number of six four axis, means when the crystal is rotated around an axis to be 60 degrees, it gives six times the same of the other. So it's called as six four axis. And in the hexagonal system, two sides are equal and third side is different. Two sides are equal in length and third side has got different length. And the of the interfacial line is two are equal to 90 degrees, the third one is equal to 130 degrees. And the last system is rhombo rhombohedral system, where the number of arrangements possible is only one in primary arrangement. And the minimum number of symmetry elements is it will have at least one, one three, four dark triad axis of symmetry. And in Rombo Hebrew, all the three sides are equal in length, and all the three angles are equal to one another, but they are not equal to 90 degrees. So these are the crystal parameters, and the number of types of elemental particles possible under these and crystal systems. So I said no, that in cubic crystal system, three types of elemental are possible in the primary cubic system, primary cubic system, body center cubic system, and if uh, uh, FCC phase into cubic system. So primitive cubic, not primary, I'm sorry, it's primitive cubic system. So what is primitive cubic system? So in this diagram it's very clear. When the particles of the solid are present only at the corners of the cube, then we call it as primitive cubic arrangement. So in a primitive cubic arrangement, the particles are present only at the corners. Number two, BCC, body centered cubic arrangement. In body centered cubic arrangement, the particles are present at the corners of the cube and also one particle at the center of the body. So, this type of arrangement of particles is called body centered cubic arrangement. And when it comes to face centered cubic arrangement, the lattice points means the positions of the particles are corners of the cube and face centers. Look, the particles in FCC arrangement are present at the corners as well as at the center of each face. So there are 12 lattice points in face uh, centered cubic system. In body centered cubic system, the lattice points are the corners and body center. In a simple cubic or primitive cubic system, the particle lattice points are only the corners. So we have three types of arrangement of particles in cubic system. Similarly, in tetragonal system, only two types of arrangement are possible. One is a primitive arrangement, where the particles, look here, tetragonal system, two sides are equal, length and breadth are equal, but height is different. So A is equal to B, not equal to C, but all the interfacial angles are 90 degrees. So here, in a primitive arrangement, the particles are present only at the corners. And in body centered cubic arrangement, in body centered cubic arrangement, the particles are present at the corners and at the center of the crystal. So, this is body centered arrangement. Then, orthorhombic system, where the number of ways of uh, arrangement of particles possible is 4. So, here this is primitive, where the particles are present only at the corners. This is end centered. Look at the end center. End center means the particles are present at the corners. Then two particles at the center of a pair of opposite faces. So there are six faces here, but the particles are present only on the, at the centers of two opposite faces. So this type of arrangement is called end centered arrangement. 
and this is body centered and this is face centered which are familiar with then when it comes to monoclinic system there are only two types of arrangement of particles possible one is primitive arrangement where the lattice points are corners and uh, the second arrangement is the end centered arrangement the particles are present at the corners as well as at the centers of a pair of opposite faces and when it comes to fly like any hexagonal and rhombohedral system only one type of arrangement is possible that is the primitive arrangement where the particles are present only at the corners look at this tri clinic all the three sides are different and all the three banding uh, interfacial angles are different and not equal to 90 degrees so the particles are present only at the corners similarly when it comes to hexagonal system only one type of arrangement is possible the particles are present at the uh, edges as well as at the face centers one type of arrangement possible then in triclinic system and hexagonal system and rhomb rhombic system a rhomboid uh, monoclinic cubic hexagonal rhombic system ortho rhombic it is called okay so this is a rhombohedral system is given here all the three sides are equal but all the three angles are also equal but they are not equal to 90 degrees this is rhombohedral arrangement it's given as trigonal the other name so it's a rhombohedral system so this uh, this is the four types 15 types of arrangement of particles possible so what is it called 14 3 plus 5 9 11 12 13 14 So, Provis concluded that these fourteen types of arrangements are only possible under seven types of crystal systems. Thank you. We'll continue.